This is part 4.1e, part 3. For this 3D model, I'm going to only use additive in order to create this part. There will be a couple of times where I might use subtractive, but I'm going to try to mainly do additive solid modeling so that you can understand and see how that works. So let's look at this part. It is 3.5 inches long. All dimensions are in inches and if I were to add these dimensions here 0 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 0.5 I would get 2.5 wide so I can make a bottom base as 3.5 by 2.5 and extrude it 1 so an Autodesk Inventor clicking on new part and clicking on start a 2D sketch I'm going to click on the XZ plane sketch plane because I want to rise up and click on rectangle so it's going to be 2.5 by 3 double click uh, the escape button so 3.5 by 2.5 oops I didn't make the right dimension so I can double click on that dimension change it to 3.5 finish sketch let's click on that home button again uh, let's make sure on our tools document settings we're in the inches and we are all right 3d model extrude that extrusion is up one it's all defaulted to one so I'm gonna click on the OK so now I have this bottom section and I'm gonna add this top part so this is one inch wide so I'm gonna right click new sketch click on the rectangle tool make sure I snap into the corner make sure I snap to the right side and make this one inch one inch wide click on finish sketch and let's see so if this is one tall and this whole thing is 2.5 I need to subtract that to get this length from the top so that's gonna be one point so my extrusion for this is 1.5 alright so that's how additive subtracting would look for this part now obviously I have to cut away these sections in order to get it to look like the 3D model so I'm going to draw on the top surface and dimension and extrude cut so right click new sketch on the top I'm going to draw another rectangle and let's see, they're 0.5 from each edge. So dimension from this edge to this edge, 0.5, enter, and do the same here. 0.5, enter. And it's telling me that this is 1.5 inches wide, so let me just double check that that's true. It is true. Sometimes you'll get this adding the dimension will over constrain the sketch. Um, you can accept or just cancel finish sketch it is 0.5 cut extrude click on the cut make the distance 0.5 click on that surface click to check press enter or click OK now we're going to subtract this section out so right click new sketch and let's make a rectangle and this time I'm not going to dimension it when I draw it I'm going to dimension it after so I know it's 1.5 long, so I'll click on dimension, click on this bottom line, click on this top line, make that 1.5. It's 0.5 wide, so right, uh, click on that, click on that, type 0.5, enter, and it is one inch away from that left edge, so click on that left edge, click on that, one, enter, and now that's dimensioned, finish sketch and click on extrude this time I'm gonna cut all click on that surface and click OK and our part is complete click on the save button this is 4.1e part 3 make sure you put your name save your work don't forget to screenshot it if you haven't seen the screenshot video watch that 
uh, should be sent either through email, Google Drive, or uh, Google Classroom.